Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Sunday. It's Daryl here. Happy day after Thanksgiving. Happy Boxing Day. It's Boxing Day, right? In England, I believe they call it Boxing Day. And Canada. So to any of my Canadian or uh, English viewers, happy Boxing Day. It is 4 a.m. bright and early here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, today I want to talk about good old Jared Schmeck. The Schmeckster. The Schmeckmeister. <laughs> this is the guy, the, the father of four. The Christian father of four. Uh, Ex-police officer. Upstanding man who thought it was a good idea to tell the President of the United States on Christmas Eve, I assume in front of his four children, to uh, use a coded message to tell the President of the United States, F you. Classy. That's, no, nothing says class like that. All right. Uh, good old Jared. So Jared's been complaining now. Hey, this always happens. All right, so you'll see there's a link below. I got a few of these stories. I think it's a raw story. Uh, and Jared's, uh, he's a little peed because he's could be getting kicked back. I guess he's been getting some uh, unkind, uh, coercive, uh, unhappy people, which is par for the course. God knows that Trump supporters have done their share of this too. Um so he, Jared, good old Mr. The Schmeckmeister, uh, claims, hey, man, he's got freedom of speech. This is true. This is completely true. And, you know, if he thinks it's a good idea to do this, like I said, I assume, because he's talking to Joe Biden about Santa Claus, the Santa tracker. Now, I'm assuming that he's not, he's doing this for his children, you know, that he's not talking about Santa Claus with Joe Biden by himself. Maybe he is. I'm assuming his children are sitting right there. So sooner or later, they're going to know daddy, good old dad, told the president to F you on, on Christmas Eve. And that's, that's something to respect in your dad. Um, so, yeah, so, so uh, good old Jared Schmeck, you know, he says he's got the freedom of speech and all that. But this is, this is where I got a problem with him. Um, he does have freedom of speech, but this is one thing he doesn't realize too, is I think a lot of Trump supporters think that they can say something and then that's the end of it. I can speak my, my freedom of speech and we're done now. I've, I've said my nasty little obscene piece and let's let it rest. No, that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. People can respond to that. That's how freedom of speech works. That's why you're getting a kickback. And they, they always complain about this. They, they, every time Trump supporters complain, they, they, call, it, well, they call it canceled. I'm, I'm being canceled. That's, that's what they call it when they get kickback for what they said. The, the, the vulgar, obscene uh, things they say that they think they could just you know, spew out there and then that's the end of it. They're, that's because they're entitled. They're white American males, and I, I could say vulgar things. And we all get a laugh, and we move on. No, that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. Here's where I got a real problem with the Schmeckmeister. Um, if you're going to do this, own it, man. I, I, God knows I've own, I own. Anybody that watches my channel for the last two years, I own everything I do. Uh, this is something I learned in recovery, man. You know, if you, you you have to own own up to what you do, take responsibility for it. All right. So Jared claims that he meant no disrespect to Joe Biden. The the quote will be right down below. Uh, I'll have it right down below. He actually said, "Good old the Schmeckmeister said this that." Uh, you know, he meant no disrespect to Joe Biden. I don't know then how he meant it. Uh, was he talking about an actual person named Brandon? No, I don't think so. Um, he meant F you, Joe, in a, just a kidding way. Hey, Joe, Merry Christmas and F you. Uh, no, because he goes on to say uh, that 
He knows that this is a vulgar reference to Joe Biden, but he is not that simple-minded to go along with something like that. Okay, so he admits he knows what it means, but he's not that simple-minded. So in other words, he's saying that people that would, somebody that would call up and, and, and crank Joe Biden by saying, hey, let's go Brandon, you know, like what he did. Well, that person would be simple-minded, and he's not simple-minded. This, this, that right there is where he, I just, he, he's just a wuss. Uh, I got no respect for him. I hope I can say that. Uh, I, I got no respect. If, you know, if you're going to do it, just do it and own it, man. Own it. You know, say your piece. You know, if you don't like him, use this occasion to say why. List your grievances. List, you know, get it all out. That's, you know, then I might not like it, but I could, I could respect your freedom of speech. It's your opinion and you're allowed to that. But this, this little nonsense here that, you know, well, he's not that simple minded to, to, to spew a vulgarity like that. So I don't know what that leaves, how he, you know. How he's, how he's claiming he meant this. It's a, it's a wuss, the wuss's way out. All right, now let's talk about Joe Biden. After good old the Schmeckmeister, Jared, uh, said this, uh, I guess the, uh, Mrs., uh, Mrs. Biden cringed a little bit, uh, which would be the response to any, you know, can I imagine somebody saying to my grandmother, you know, somebody telling my, my grandfather, F off. Yeah. Um, Joe Biden says, uh, I agree. Let's go, Brandon. Okay, let's look at that. Uh, there's a good chance that he didn't he didn't catch it. He didn't even catch it. This is why I, you know, and no, it's not because he's an old man, because he is he's not in, in control of his uh, faculties. Now, a lot of it, I think to do had they were just talking about Hunter and Sons, the name Hunter, Brandon. I, they're different, but, you know, they were talking quite a bit about both having sons named Brandon. And I, I could see how, you you know, you have that on your mind. Your son, his son named Brandon, your son named Hunter. Let's go, Brandon. And, you know, he's the president of the United States. There's a lot on his mind. And he just, I, I could see him saying that. I agree. Let's go, Brandon. And, you know, move on to the next caller. This guy, you know, this guy, he's what? Biden's what 78 he's getting rushed from one place to the next place to the next place thinking about uh you know the the hundred hundred different things he's thinking about every day I can see how he just was moving along and said I agree let's go Brandon and moved on to next call didn't catch you or or and this is what I would like to believe that he did catch it and he just paid it no mind you know the worst thing to do here if if I was Joe Biden, the worst thing to do here would to be to acknowledge it, you know, to cringe. I mean, Mrs. Biden has the right to cringe. It's her husband. But if you're the one being insulted, the best the, the, the best thing to do is to not even let it hit you. Just let it slide right past you. Uh, for instance, here on YouTube, on my channel, I read every single comment. I don't even like to say that half the time because I, I, I could tell, you know, we're all alike and you know, we got it. We, you, you get a good gut feeling what a comment's about. Um, you know, some comments, most comments are, are heartfelt, wonderful comments. The reason I don't answer, I, I read every one, but you guys have noticed I talk about empathy and stuff a lot. And it, when I respond, when I start texting, I, I get into that text and I start picturing the people that wrote it. And if you've ever know, seen any of my responses, they get long-winded. I just go on and on. I have a hard time just writing thank you or that. I, I get into the text. I feel it. And I will think about if I respond to a text and I start texting back, I w that text will get in my head all day. I will think about that person. It's like a connection almost. And I, I can't do that. It takes up so much of my emotional and mental energy. Uh, seriously. This is, the, this is the reason 
Well, I, I do not. I will not. I, I usually say I, I won't uh, reward bad behavior, but this is the reason too. Is I won't. I will never acknowledge uh, criticisms. I'll acknowledge. You know, if, if if it's constructive criticism, those are the ones that I I, I will respond to. You know, God knows I got faults and I make mistakes, but the insults I won't even respond to. Uh, I think that's without a doubt the best way to respond to, you know, somebody being crass or vulgar or whatever, just trying to get a, just trying to get a rise out of me is to let it go right by me. And I, I, I'm hoping that, that that's the way Joe Biden handled this, that he just let it slide right past him. I agree. Let's go, let's go, Brandon. That, that's beautiful because it, it, it looks like it never hit him, you know? And uh, even if he didn't, he realized that's what it was being said. It was still the best response because it just didn't even, didn't even hit him. All right. I can't believe I'm running long on time again. Time goes by quick. You guys have a great Sunday. I'll be back later with another video.